good, pretty good. There are just a few teeny tiny things that I would change. First off, no silly marching band hat. No sheet music. And absolutely no kazoo. Sorry about that, pupy, but you can't do great things without pain. I'm not trying to do anything great. I'm trying to get into marching band. Don't you ever listen? Of course I listen. I hear the sound of little fly hearts crying out for the marching band of the future. And this marching band's march into the future can't be stopped just by getting rid of me. It can't? Of of course not! It's much bigger than me! And you know why? Because now it includes my sweet little pupper scooper! Why in Bug's name are you knitting at the table? After today's rehearsal, I've got to let my creativity out somehow. But dear, you're knitting spaghetti. Oh, um, well, here you go, pupper. Thanks! Do you have this in a pesto? My kingdom! I mourn for my kingdom. Again, but this time, try acting! And Eugene, you are three millimeters off your mark. No, I'm not. I stand corrected, Eugene. Three and a half millimeters off your mark. Move it! And as we approach the vacation season, we are reminded that it is time to celebrate, a time to be joyful, and a time for me to assign your midterm project. Aww. But we're supposed to have the next two weeks off! And this project should take two weeks to complete. It works perfectly! Now, this project... Ahem... <laughs> I, before he except after B squared. Nice try, Miss Pesky, but this is history. Oh, so that's why I was sleeping. What kind of fleeb invites a teacher over for dinner? I just invited him to be nice. I figured, hey, he's into dioramas, dad was into dioramas, he'll see me working on my diorama. It'll be fun. And me without my party hat. That's him now. Places me both. And go. I guess I'll get it. Hello! Welcome, Mr. Bugspit. I'm Frida. Uh, call me Cornelius. These are for you. Uh, wasn't sure what to bring. I don't get invited to dinner very often. Almost never. Okay, this is a first. Oh, my goodness. Oh, flowers and chocolates. Oh, and a fake mustache. I'll take that. Come in, Cornelius. I'm Chauncey Pesky. Oh, Maggie's told me all about you. Uh, the Gettysburg Address. <laughs> a fellow diorometatist. Not only is one hard to find, it's hard to say. <laughs> hey there, Mr. B. I'd get up, but I'm right in the middle of working super duper hard on my diorama. Exercising my rights as the most adored and popular girl in school. Anybody got a problem with that? No, in fact, take my lunch. Here, take my backpack! Here, take my gym shorts. Ew! Oh, she touched my gym shorts. Today, I'm a man. <laughs> And you're sure they switched the soap in the locker room without any authorization whatsoever? Yes, Chief. It's always been lemon scum scented. Then suddenly, whammo! It's fresh and filthy. I'd say you picked up the scent of a front page story. The people need to know. What? You're giving a bar of soap the front page? The lad's got his facts straight, Maggie, and the story is pretty inflammatory. Inflammatory? Try Yanaramatory. You haven't even heard my story idea yet. You're right, Maggie. How unfair. I can only hope it's as brilliant as the last scoop you brought me. What was the tantalizing headline? But they were UFOs. Uncool fellows with overbites. I just added a little Maggie pesky creativity. Well, 
Well, here's a little BRC. Bugs spit reality check. I don't print your stories because they're misleading, contrived, and exaggerated. You left out super fun to read. A real story consists of facts, 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 facts. That's journalism. That's boring. And that's why you'll never write for this paper. Ugh. Well, I don't hate it. So you'll run the story? If you bring me proof that these ant prisons really exist, and by proof I mean cold, hard facts, not maggy, pesky mumbo-jumbo, then yes, I will run the story. That's fantastic, Mr. Bugspit. You won't regret this. Oh, I'm pretty sure I will. Mr. Bugspit! Ah, Maggie Pesky, fresh from the squalor of the ant mines. So, did you bring me back actual facts, or just more souvenirs from your visits to make-believe land? Well, it wasn't quite what I expected. What a surprise! I knew you wouldn't come back with a story. That's why I didn't even save you space in this week's paper. You didn't save my space? But that's... Excellent planning on my part. You've already been replaced by Sunny and Warm. Excellent job on tomorrow's weather forecast, Lucas. Now let's just hope you're right. Excellent planning? Ha! I said the mine wasn't quite what I expected because it was way worse. The torture those poor ants are enduring will turn your stomach. You better hold page one, pal, because you're gonna need it. I should have quit fantasizing while I was ahead. That's weird. Everyone seems so quiet. Hey, Jim Shorts, what's going on? Did you hear? Gunther's had an accident. He got hit with the drumstick during the drummer solo. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> Why, Gunther? Why not me? Tragic! <gasps> They've taken him to Sticky Feet Hospital. Good morning, Mr. Flyzer. What can we do for you? Oh, I don't know. Can you fix my bum wing? Can you make me whole again, huh? Can you, Honey Striper? Can you? No. You want some juice? Okay. Uh, and uh, maybe a little Danish. Right away. I'll go get one. Stat. That's hospital talk for right after I find out what room Gunther's in. Oh, great. And what am I supposed to do? Sir, would you like your pillow fluffed? No one's ever asked me that. Yes, yes, I would. Go ahead, Reina. Make a difference. <laughs> My bad. Hey, Maggie. For all this helping people thing, it makes me so happy. I've discovered a new part of myself I didn't even know existed. Great, we'll have Gunther sign it. Let's go. Excuse me, girls. Can you help me?
anyways, guys, that was Bowser Maggie widescreen edition. I'm like, wait, the show was made in widescreen? I mean, I didn't know that. I mean, I love Bowser Maggie. You, you too, Baldy. I like you too. Oh, oh my! Did you hear that? What do you want from me? She got so scared. That was terrifying. I mean, that I literally didn't even know that she literally said that. That actually scared the bejeez out of me. Like, literally, me? That, that makes no sense. Oh my god, that is scary. What do you want from me? <laughs> that is terrifying. That actually is super terrifying. Can I just do my outro in peace? Like, literally, I really want to do my outro in peace. Okay, I was like thinking of it, and it was. What do you want? <gasps> oh yeah. No, no. <coughs> okay, I need to quit. I need to quit. I need to quit. I need to quit. This is not Peter Elf. This is Maxie Fernandez Five. Uh, this is gonna be a long outro. I know it's so long, but um, the video lasted eleven minutes long. <laughs> Holy, yeah, that pretty much makes sense. Also, when I just said what you offer me is probably gonna be in a Blues Clues Dana video. He's probably recording that part right now. He's probably doing it. Dana is probably recording it. Oh my gosh. He's gonna be just like chiseled. Chiseled. Yeah, it's a user who makes videos, loads of videos on Creecraft. I will have a link to the both channels in the description. Blue Schools, Dana, and Tr Chiseled. Yeah. But yeah. Blue Schools, Dana actually subscribed to the Benny Watch channel and the main channel itself. I'm actually for 2005. But yeah. That was actually. Weird. I added the Ball the Year My Music karaoke version because um I'm actually gonna upload a clean actually you know what? Someone already uploaded a clean version. I'm gonna do a fiery junior slash fiery X out of it. Anyways, I gotta say, Ricky Dang Ricky, I didn't realize you could beatbox like cool, like six nine, even though I hate him. Alright, so um I was going to say something. But, um, Blue's Clues, Dana's probably gonna make that into a video when I say, what do you want from me? Yeah, that's probably gonna be in a video. And he's, and he's probably gonna be, like, in a watch this guy's video, probably. Probably, but anyways, guys, I just want to say, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Please, you like, if you did, and subscribe. Press the notification bell, never miss a video ever again. Oh my god. I literally don't even know why. Like... 1% chance of vent. It's like a little bit too much. But I feel like that, um, I make too much Bond videos. Balls making videos. But yeah. But yeah, I did an LO video out of this. But, anyways, peace out.